What's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan, and today we are out with the Air Gun Technologies Ergen in 30 cal. We're going to be shooting the FX Diabolo 44.8 grain pellets, and uh, we're going to start at the 50 yard. I got to sight this thing in real quick, then we're going to go ahead and hook up the side shot, and we're going to send some groups down range, then we're going to move over to the 100 yard, and we're going to shoot this thing at 100 yards, and we're going to give her a good shot. So here's a little picture of the setup. This is the uh, Oregon uh, with the MTC King Cobra F1 uh, scope on top, UTG recon bipod on the bottom. And uh, I did bring the tethering system just in case uh, I decide to really go to town and shoot a bunch. But stay tuned, I'm gonna get this thing sighted in, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do some 50 yard shooting. Stay tuned. All right, here we are, we're back. And we're gonna shoot our 50 yard groups. Got the side shot on there. Let me go ahead and set up our camera. And uh, let's go ahead and send, I'm gonna send two nine shot groups. So we're gonna go with the upper left corner first, and then we're going to switch to the upper right corner. We're gonna send these two groups uh, down range and uh, see what we can do. Let's get started. Not a bad group, not a bad group. Let's go with uh, the upper right target now. Let's see if we can't put together. Let's settle down a little bit here. Oh, I don't know what happened there. That was probably me.
right so there we have it two groups and uh keep in mind too that um the only pellet that i brought with me today was the 44.8 grain fx uh diabolos so i'm curious i need to go out to my car and see if i have my 25 caliber set with me and if i do we're gonna we're gonna shoot some other uh pellets and uh see what we can do as well as slugs so give me one second guys we'll be right back let's go see what's in the car all right i'm human and i failed you guys today i brought my 22 uh caliber tray with me instead of my 25 caliber tray so we're going to be stuck with the fx diabolo 44.8 uh, but they're still not grouping horribly i just know personally that this gun can do better um, with other pellets and uh, slugs so we'll probably end up coming back out to the range and doing uh, another video as well but uh, I did go ahead and move down to the 100 yard and uh, there's the gun there's the 100 yards down there I'm gonna wait for this other guy to get done shooting and uh, we're going to come back and uh, shoot some, some 100 yard with the Airgun Technologies Uragun 30 cal so stay tuned a few moments later all right here we go we are out at the hundred got it all set up i did tether the gun uh just because i want to make sure that uh we're on we're gonna probably have to do a little bit of sighting but uh, i figured i'd show you guys this thing is pretty much zeroed at 50. um let's see let's just see what happens when we go for a hundred and uh red fire up our shot style out to a hundred guy yeah, here B. Oh, where did I go? There we go. Let's just see what happens. Oh man, I'm bouncing all over the place. Let's get this thing in here. Oh my gosh, too much coffee. I think I'm shooting low. Shooting a little higher than that. Well, that's not good. That's maxed out. And of course, I have adjustable rings, and I left all my tools at home. But let's see what kind of groups we get anyway. Even though we're shooting a little low. It's the same dang hole. That's amazing. I am bouncing all over the place, guys. We're gonna have to come back out and do another hundred after no coffee. <laughs> Same hole again. It's two separate holes with two pellets in each hole. That's amazing. Oh, this gun is on fire. Totally me. Guys, I am, I'm not lying when I say I am jittery. Jittery. Holy cow, today is a crazy day. Should have waited, but. Whew. Now you guys 
guys can probably see it in the cam just how much it's moving. But I mean, shoot, even for even for as much as I'm moving, this thing is really doing a good job. Let's see if I can. There we go. There we go. I think we need to try some other pellets, personally. And uh, maybe even some slugs. I mean, it's still not horrible. But uh, I know this gun is more, way more capable. We've all seen Shooter 1721 with this gun. And we know that the gun is definitely more accurate than me. Um, Especially today. Like I said, I'm not trying to make excuses, guys, but I am trembling from caffeine. Got up this morning, I didn't eat, um, and just uh, drank two of my large 32 ounce coffees. <laughs> Normally, I at least eat, but uh, I didn't this morning, and now I'm regretting it. Um, Cause like I said, I can't, I can't seem to stay stable. You know, I'm gonna start a new group over on this uh, other gun. See what we can't put together over here. Let's keep going. Trying to calm myself down. Trying to hold the gun a little bit differently. See if I can't get some of my shakes to come out of the gun. And uh, see if I can't make a difference here in these groups. doing better. Oh, me. You can see it. You can see it in the crosshairs.
That's definitely a better group though. Definitely a better group. Alright guys, we're back. And uh, you know, I think that sun's probably right in your faces. You turn this thing around. There we go. And uh, I gotta admit, I am not impressed with the way that the FX uh, 44.8 uh, pellets flew out of this gun. Um, I have already shot this gun before at um, 50 and 100. Um, that day I was using a different pellet. And uh, I think I'm gonna need to do a redo. We're gonna keep this video, but uh, these, uh, these groups, I mean, that's not horrible at 100 yards with a little bit of wind. I mean, but I know I was getting a little bit better. Um, that's not great. Not great, not great. Um, I just know that this gun is definitely more capable at 100 yards and certainly at 50 yards. Um, so we're going to we're going to revisit this range day. I'm still going to do my conclusion video because I know what the outcome is, but I'm going to do a follow-up video as well. That'll probably be out maybe next week or maybe the week after. Um, but. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take this thing out. We're gonna shoot some slugs through it. We're gonna shoot some uh, some JSBs through it, and uh, we're going to uh, see how she does. We're gonna shoot some heavies out of it as well, so some 50 grains, and uh, see how it does. Um, but uh, yeah, not not a fair assessment. Like I said, you know, you guys have seen other people on YouTube. Shooter 1721 uh, shot his Urigan, and uh, you saw his groups. You know, part of it's me. I am a little jittery today, but um, you know, at the end of the day, I want to give the gun its due. And uh, you know, it's it's not fair to the gun that you know I'm shaking and causing some flyers and you know stuff. Because honestly, I, I should be getting you know one inch maybe inch and a quarter once again that's not horrible you know we do have wind so you know i got a few little flyers over here and this and that but you can see that there's you know three or four through there this is actually um three magazines so um 27 shots um right in here so you know a lot of them were you know through the same hole we got a few through there i just think it can do better <laughs> That's just me. And you didn't see this one on the side shot. I only shot these on the side shot. Um, but, um, you know, it is what it is. So, like I said, we're going to give this gun another go with some different ammo. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. But uh, this gun is available to purchase from High Pressure Pneumatics. So, you can go check them out in the description below. And uh, it is this exact gun. Uh, this would be the one that you would get had you decided to... Um, pick one up and uh, you know great air gun great great air gun um, can't complain a bit it's very well balanced um, you know the synthetic stock feels really really good uh, it's not that cheap like plasticky feel um, and uh, you know it, it just does a great great job so uh, with that being said I'm Moose this is Air Guns of Michigan don't forget be good to each other and God bless you